Hi guys, so it's been a while since I talked about the uh, discrete operational amplifiers. Uh, so it's time to talk about, uh, not exactly new because they've been on the market for a while now, uh, Acliam operational amplifiers, AK06 that you can see here and AK05 that you can see here. So <clears throat> before we will begin, uh, all the necessary links in the video description uh, and uh, there won't be a test system setup details in the description this time because I've been using them in quite a lot of different uh, devices and uh, all in all these are siblings to LC5 uh, horizontal operational amplifiers. Now it's been a year since my or, or even over a year since my LC5 uh, review and uh, what are those? The thing is that uh, most of the operational amplifiers nowadays are integrated operational amplifiers like those guys, give me a second, let's open the box and we have here, oh come on guys, yeah we have a bit of a September sun now so this is a nice surprise uh, guys like those. Uh, these are OPA828 uh, single operational amplifiers integrated and these are uh, made on uh, deep 8 adapters. So that's what you will usually be getting with uh, different types of audio gear nowadays, especially D-class amplifiers uh, or uh, digital to analog converters. So why would you have something like that. Why would you have a larger discrete operational amplifier? Well the answer is that these are class A amplifiers, very small pure class A amplifiers and this means that they are delivering class A goodies uh, like smoothness, like uh, warmth to the sound and uh, the idea is to use them uh, in for example class D amplifiers to have the better sound quality. And the same goes for digital to analog converters because they are not only providing smoothness and warmth, they are also uh, very good when it comes to detail uh, retrieval and uh, imaging and giving you a precise open sound stage. Now, <clears throat> most of the operational amplifiers, uh, discrete operational amplifiers that I've reviewed, reviewed uh, earlier, actually all of them, uh, were the vertical ones. Uh, when you had something like that, yeah, and the uh, mounting legs were on the bottom. And uh, the problem with uh, those was uh, that they um, could not fit in some tight places. So Acliam came with the same construction as LC5, but on uh, differently designed PCBs, meaning that these are horizontal operational amplifiers and they take less space when it comes to the height but they are taking more space when it comes to the surrounding area and that's why with uh, each set that you will order you will be getting uh, deep sockets regular gold plated good quality deep sockets the idea is that you can stack them together like that and make your operational amplifier higher this way. So this will allow you to have more clearance under the operational amplifier so the surrounding elements on the PCB won't interfere with your uh, new op-amp. So how do they sound? Uh, you can actually refer to my LC5 video but for those of you that haven't seen that one <coughs> they have a very nice dynamic uh, bass with very good sub bass extension and warm mid bass. The mid bass doesn't bleed into the mid range, uh, that's an important quality uh, because it will not mask anything. Uh, the mids are very natural, uh, the vocals are, especially the vocals, are very organic. So, this is basically one of the qualities of class A uh, amplifiers. You want to have class A for this magical uh, vocals. Uh, and then there is a treble, the treble that will have great extension 
it won't be sibilant, but at the same time it will be very airy and very smooth. Again, that's one of the traits of Class A amplifiers and that's why you may want to have a guy like that sitting in your uh, gear to provide that uh, openness in treble, to provide that uh, airy feeling, but with this smooth feeling of Class A. <clears throat> now, uh, the other thing that they also provide is good resolution and uh, excellent imaging. Uh, the resolution, I would say, is on par with, uh, let's say, OPA 6 to 7 integrated um, operational amplifier, which is a very high compliment because OPA 6 to 7 was, uh, is uh, the previous top of the line Texas Instruments model. Uh, and as for uh, the imaging, uh, being Class A, they are providing very large and very precise sound stage. So again, using them, especially with Class D amplifiers, uh, boosts the imaging. You are getting better imaging than with any kind of um, integrated operational amplifier. Now, we have two types here. The white ones are single operational amplifiers, meaning that we have single op amp on one board. And we have the second type, AK05, which are double operational amplifiers. Uh, you can see that we have two boards, one board is for one operational amplifier only, and the pinouts for those guys are completely different. And this is pretty important because the more popular type with D-class amplifier and most of the digital to analog converters would be double ones, those guys, yes? But there are some areas and there are some devices that will take single operational amplifiers only. So when buying, you have to be sure which ones do you actually need. Uh, so I've tested those guys in the D-class um, amplifiers that I own. Uh, but those guys I've tested with pre-amplifier with a clone of Accuface C3850-S that we'll see the review very soon or maybe actually even be published before this video. Uh, <clears throat> so this is pretty important because although the mm, dual operation amplifiers are more common, there are some constructions that are using single op amps uh, mostly those that are using uh, integrated NE5534 uh, integrated uh, operational amplifier and uh, these would be excellent candidates uh, for replacing single 5534 with one of those guys. Uh, yeah, so again, I very highly recommend them as I did with LC5s this is basically the same type of sound that you are getting with LC5. So every open, detailed, warm and smooth, but not overly warm. And uh, these are actually the cheapest Class A uh, op amps that I'm reviewing. And the single one uh, is uh, $15 per unit. And the dual one is something like $18 per unit. That's before any type of coupons, if you will be buying them on sale. And I think the only way you can buy them at the moment is via AliExpress Aquium uh, shop, because this is basically a manufacturer's shop. Uh, I don't know about any other source for them. I don't know if there is any kind of distributor around Europe or in the States. <coughs> So, uh, get them on sale, use some sale coupons, you will lower the price. And as I've said, uh, at the same time, these are the cheapest guys of the bunch that I've tested. Uh, so, what I wanted to show you, one more thing quite important, is actually the size. Uh, I'll have to zoom out for that and take a look at that. Just pause the video and you will have the sizes. Uh, for the LC5, which is a vertical one, and the AK05, that's a, a horizontal one. This is pretty important because this way you'll be able to assess the clearing around the operational amplifier needed uh, for placing uh, this guy. Uh, also, do remember that you can lift it up with uh, spacers, with basically deep sockets like that. 
And one more thing that I wanted to show you is that this guy is actually used in many different devices and it works perfectly. I myself tested it in Z ZD3 and it was excellent. I have tested it in ZA3 and it was also excellent. And I've used them in V3 Monos, my V3 Monos. Uh, I don't think I have 07 Max, but anyway, they are fitting perfectly and these are the guys that will allow you to close the chassis without drilling any kind of holes or any kind of cutouts because uh, you might have seen on the web uh, some reviews and photos from guys who made openings, clearings for vertical operation amplifiers and sometimes they've used uh, cable extenders so it was looking weird but still it was providing good sound quality. Now these guys will fit perfectly inside and you will not have to cut anything to close the chassis. So that's basically all. I highly recommend them as I recommend LC5s uh, if you have a clearing for vertical operation amplifier. LC5s are still excellent choice <coughs> and actually sometimes can be a better choice simply because of the space around. The thing is that uh, you may have electrolytic capacitors uh, near your operational amplifier sockets and as long as you can stack those guys to lift your horizontal operational amplifier higher at some point you are reaching the same height as for the vertical one yeah so maybe there is no point uh, in stacking that and you may need just the vertical ones if there is a lot of space over the PCB. And these guys, you will probably want to use them if there are some electrolytic cups nearby because you will want to lift the PCB over the electrolytic capacitor. Yeah, so let's zoom in. Let's take a look at them once again. Again, highly recommended because they sound excellent they are dear cheap and uh, and they give you this treble that's smooth and warm and this magical mid-range that's class a signature sound so i hope you like this very small video uh, i will use those guys in uh, all the reviews that i'll be doing that will require horizontal operation amplifiers and i will be talking about them a lot uh, because uh, most of the D-Class amplifiers nowadays uh, are closed in smaller chassis and there is not enough room usually for something vertical. But these guys are usually uh, working perfectly fine, sometimes with a little help from deep socket used as an extender. So, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Be sure to check my other video reviews for operational amplifiers and also full-sized audio gear, uh, headphones and uh, Chinese uh, opera amplifier clones. Thank you. See you next time, guys. And have a wonderful day.